Yerp, this perp, back with another one, here to discuss Black Panther. And a topic that was very interesting I've seen throughout this whole weekend is does it live up to the hype? And I can firmly say yes, it does. In every in every fashion. In every fashion. Like if it didn't live up to the hype, it wouldn't be doing as well as it has. And now I say that because you it, it's not that it it is it, it blows my mind when certain people say like why is this such a big deal? It's just a comic book movie. For me, it was bigger than a comic book movie. This is a door opener. The catalyst to something bigger, you know what I'm saying? You can see now now you kind of got to put your foot their their foot on Hollywood's neck regardless of how like you feel about certain actors or you know what I'm saying this is for a good cause for me at least that's how I see it this is going to open the doors this is going to have to force Hollywood's hand to take black actors and black actress actresses seriously because these are all top notch actors. These are not B list, C list, D list, A to Z list actors. Like, these are phenomenal actors, and they're finally getting this shine. And everybody did their part. Everybody played their part. Was it a perfect movie? No, no movie is perfect at all, man. It's ne- there's no such thing. But a great movie speaks volumes, man. It speaks volumes. And throughout this whole weekend, you just, you see what's on YouTube. You see what's in the news. I don't really pay attention to what's in the news, but you you see, um, you just see a change. It hit a switch, you know what I'm saying? It touched a nerve with a lot of people, and I think that's why that's what makes a great movie in general is when they can trigger you. You know what I'm saying? And for me, it lived up to the hype. I just wanted to make that clear. It does live up to the hype. You should go see this, whether you're black, white, any color, doesn't matter. You should go see this with your family. You should take this, to, like, everybody should just go see this. Support this movie. Just, just go support it. You know what I'm saying? No questions asked. But if you don't, that's cool. It's whatever. It's probably just not for you. But don't sit here and try to discredit it, you know? Don't try to discredit this, this movie because this is truly great writing and a good story all in one. Like, it's phenomenal. And I think over time, it's going to grow on people. Just like um, Michael B. Jordan's character, Killmonger. And a lot of people were trying to kill me, saying, like, like Michael B. J- B.'s performance, Michael J., Michael B. Jordan performance was better than Heath Ledger's Joker. And now everybody's got, oh, shit. No way. No, no, it can never be. But people forget. No one wanted Heath Ledger as the Joker. They thought he was a joke. No pun intended. They thought he was a joke until they saw the movie. And now people still talk to him, talk about him 10 years later. I think that's going to be the same thing, the same case for Michael B. Jordan's Killmonger. People are going to look look at his look at his his character character portrayal of this villain five ten years from now and now that's going to change things up for marvel because now i like this villain this these are how the villains should be they shouldn't just be one-offs you know it just wasted like they have been in the past now th- th- it, this is why i feel like this movie truly deserves all the praise and is worth all the hype because you had so many people saying, oh, it's not going to do this. It's not going to do that. 
You had a bunch of naysayers before this movie even came out. So, yeah. It does live up with the hype. Go see Black Panther. Go see it a second time. Go see the third time. I'm perp, and I'm out. Deuces.